Uh, the beginning, certainly the curation and sourcing of the box is very different from what it is now. That has reiterated a lot over time. I mean, we're still constantly reiterating because I never want to be fully satisfied with the product. I want to keep pushing our boundaries and limits. Um, and early on, I didn't have the resources to source as much as we can now. So, you know, for full transparency, especially because I think we all got to hustle a little bit, right? Early on, even though a lot of the language was that, you know, oh, we're buying from these makers in Japan and these family businesses. I mean, that was always what I wanted to do eventually. But in the beginning, I couldn't. I didn't have those relationships. So I would have to buy them retail. <laughs> um, and I mean, still the same products, but, you know, you got to you gotta start where you can and like make that true later. <laughs> and um, but I, from lots of founders I've talked to, you go retail, wholesale, you know, direct to manufacturer is the journey you got to take. Um, and so in the beginning, it was really tough bootstrapping it. However, one thing I will say that made it better was because we were, we started off purely as a subscription box. So if you're like a, a CPG product, right? And, and you have to have like high minimum order quantities, you have to buy a lot of inventory in bulk, you have 